Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the Ole Henriksen Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. This product retails for $44. So Ole Henriksen is a brand that I have not tried a lot of their products. I absolutely fell in love with their moisturizer that I tried. That was the last product that I tried of theirs on this channel. This is the newest release from them. I'm very excited to be trying an essence. I haven't tried many of those either. I know that essences are really great. I'm very excited to be trying another essence because I have had a good experience with all of the ones that I've tried and the fact that this does have vitamin C in it too also excites me. There are so many brightening products that have been released lately and I'm just very excited to try this one too. This product is vegan, cruelty free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packaging. There is some fragrance in this product along with an essential oil, but that's not personally something that I can't use, but if you are sensitive to fragrance, just take that into consideration before purchasing this product. Some of the highlighted ingredients in this product include fermented orange peel extract, orange stem cells, vitamin C, hyaluronic and polyglutamic acids, and niacinamide. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description. There's nothing really major that I'm looking for with this product. I know a lot of times essences are supposed to boost hydration and just make your skin feel better overall. So the big thing that I'm looking for with this product, especially since vitamin C is one of the top ingredients in this product and it's what's highlighted, is does it cause any sensitivity? Vitamin C can be potent and especially when it's combined with some fragrance ingredients. So so I will just be curious to see if it does cause any sensitivity. Another big thing that I'm looking for with this product is just to see how many results I find. I'm not really expecting to see any crazy results with this, but I am going to use it both day and night and just see how many results I see with it. As always, if you're new to using vitamin C or any active, it is very smart to start out slower than faster, just in case you do have a sensitivity to it. As always, I will be doing check-ins with this product and if I notice anything else I will let you all know so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product and also use it for the very first time on camera. So I have actually been using this product for about four days now and so far I have had a really great experience with it. I know that this product said that it was supposed to be hydrating and it is very hydrating but it's not suffocating if that makes sense. Like it really feels great on the skin. Only thing I am noticing is the fragrance is very strong in this product. It's not a fragrance that lasts a terribly long time but it is there when you first put it on. I don't smell it too much longer after I use the product and after it sinks in but it is just a little bit strong in this product so that's just something to keep in mind when purchasing not personally something that bothers me but that is just something I noticed this is completely unrelated to the performance of the product but I always love packaging and this is just chef's kiss to me because this is really heavy really nice packaging I just love the ombre effect this is so unrelated to the product performance, but I just really enjoy it. So I am going to go ahead and use it. You can't really tell that there's a lot of added hydration to my skin. You might be able to, I'm not sure. But I personally I personally notice the hydration boost when I apply my other serums and moisturizer and my sunscreen during the daytime. It just really makes my skin feel nice. I haven't noticed many brightening benefits yet with this product because it's only been like four days. So I will continue to keep you all posted with it. I'm liking this product so far. It's a really nice essence and I feel like that <coughs> and I'm hoping I will continue to have a great experience with it. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I was able to use this product for a week and a half and I saw some amazing results with this product. 
Overall, it did provide a nice layer of hydration to my skin. I also noticed a lot of great brightening benefits with this product and my skin is looking very clear right now and I really have to owe it to this product. I didn't experience any sensitivity with it and I really enjoyed my experience with this product overall. The only reason that I wouldn't recommend this to someone is if you are sensitive to fragrance. I do feel like that this product does have a lot of fragrance in it and it is a pretty strong scent whenever it first goes on the skin, but it does fade very quickly. I don't smell it after it sinks in, which is really nice. And I personally don't have an issue with the fragrance. I actually find it kind of enjoyable, but if you are sensitive to fragrance or essential oils and skincare, then I would not recommend this product for you. But if you are able to use products with fragrance in it, then this would be an amazing option if you're wanting a brightening essence. It definitely did a great job at hydrating my skin and also just providing the benefits of vitamin C to my skin. The price point is pretty expensive but I have seen some great results with it so if you are willing to invest more into a great product then this would be an amazing option for you. I really have fallen in love with both this product and the Ole Henriksen peptide moisturizer that I tried before on this channel. It became a staple in my skincare routine and I feel like this product will too. I really did see results with this product within the first week of using it and it's just continued to get better from that. So bottom line is I would recommend it, especially if you are willing to invest more in a great brightening vitamin C product in a hydrating essence form. The only reason, like I said, that I wouldn't recommend it is if you are sensitive to fragrance. It's definitely one of the more fragrance products that I have tried on this channel and just in general. It is a very strong orange smell and even though it does fade very fast, it is still there and if you are sensitive to it you will just want to be a little bit careful with it but anyway thank you all so much for watching this review if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because i post new videos every week and i will see you all in the next review